Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of the brand new Vera Wang perfume, Princess Revolution. So this is the 10th perfume in the Princess line, and it just got announced today via like the mass um, perfume places like Fragrantica and Now Smell This Perfumes. And has apparently actually been out for a little bit because my Ulta had it and my Ulta sucks at getting things in, so I know I didn't get it in today. Um, and my friend Lizzie actually showed me this this morning and I was super excited when she showed it to me because I love the princess line. It's always been one of my favorite lines. Except for I've never found a princess perfume that I really bonded with until now. So, Princess Revolution looks like this and it says Vera Wang Princess Revolution on the front here. The box is kind of a matte red. Um, with Princess Revolution and kind of this high gloss black streak. And then you've got this, like, uh, pencil-esque, like, sharpie notebook graffiti all around the box. The sides are both plain. Um, this side's got all the information. And then the back's got all of, like, more of that graffiti. And then the bottom, you just got the barcode. So, the bottle looks like this. Um, is a clear... As I throw it... A clear red bottle, um, that same princess design that we've seen with that beveled back and the heart shape, um, and it says Princess Revolution on the front here. It's got that same Sharpie graffiti stuff on it. You've got your removable ring crown on here, which is black, uh, silver with black gems on it this time, like that. So... Um, I will say that the moment I read the notes on this, um, I was obsessed because this just sounds like something I would love. So the top notes are uh, sour cherry, watermelon, and so watermelon, sorbet, and blood orange. Mineral notes are lily of the valley, jasmine, and apple blossom with base notes of atlas cedar and amber wood. Now, this is an eau de toilette. I got the 50 ml bottle. Um... And I will say, hands down, probably number one, definitely so far number one perfume of 2016. Definitely in my top five, hands down, favorite Vera Wang perfume out there. So when you first spray it, I get the sorbet, I get the cherry, and I get the watermelon. Um, but they're not like super fruity. This perfume isn't super fruity. Um, but it's not super floral either. What I would say is it's a very nice mix of the two. It's got a very um, fruity, floral mix that's kind of perfectly balanced. I definitely get the cherry and the watermelon kind of as those standout fruits um, with the Lily of the Valley and the Apple Blossom as kind of the backups. Um, kind of giving it just a very light, girly, <coughs> excuse me, light, girly, fruity, floral, middle top that's kind of the same. Um, you get kind of that burst of that sour cherry upon the first spray, um, which quickly develops in like a juicy watermelon note. Um, and it's almost like a candy Jolly Rancher watermelon, not like a real fresh watermelon note. Um, as you get more into the heart, the jasmine does come out and present itself. Um, and that sour cherry almost goes back in time a little bit. It's still there. It still is playing a supporting role. Um, it's just, um, the jasmine kind of takes its place. When you get down to the base, um, you don't really get either one of those wood notes super prominent. I feel like they're just back there kind of to finish off the base and kind of round out the fragrance. <coughs> Excuse me, the fragrance doesn't change a whole lot through the entire thing. I will say that, which is a very good thing because the first spray is what I love about this fragrance. Um, it is an eau de toilette, but it did last about six hours on me, which I was very, very, very surprised about. Because normally eau de toilettes, you don't get that time frame on. So, um, definitely a spring-summer scent. Uh, I would probably say more summer than spring. Definitely my hands-down favorite Vera Wang perfume to date. Um, hands-down 
favorite perfume of 2016 so far, and probably, hands down, top five fragrances of all time. Love, love, love this perfume. Very, very beautiful, very spot on, very just addictive, and I could wear this so much. It's so great. I love, love, love this fragrance. And it's so light and summery and pretty and breezy. It's just... <coughs> Excuse me, I still have a little bit of cough. It's just pretty, and that's what I like about it. It's not... It's not trying too hard to be anything, but I do feel like it is quite different from anything else that's been released this year, last year, on the market in a while. Anything I've smelled, it does ha I'm not going to say it's in a whole new ballpark. I could think of a couple fragrances if I really wanted to get super hardcore close to something else, but I feel like it is a league of its own and it is a very, very great fragrance. So... There you guys go. There is my review of Vera Wang's Princess Revolution. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A That's Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below, as always. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.